All right, our next reaction is a single replacement reaction. In this reaction, we're gonna take magnesium and then react it with hydrochloric acid. And then that's gonna produce the ionic compound magnesium chloride as long, along with hydrogen gas. And so this is a single replacement reaction because our cations are switching places. So magnesium is gonna go in and bond with chlorine, with that anion chlorine, to form a new cation. And that's gonna push out our previous cation hydrogen, okay, out of this compound. And so this is going to make magnesium chloride, and then of course hydrogen got pushed out, it's all by itself now, so essentially magnesium and hydrogen switch places, and a single replacement reaction occurred. Let's see this in action. All right, so I'm going to take a test tube, and I'm going to put some hydrochloric acid in this test tube. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some magnesium metal and drop it in. And so you can instantly see that a reaction starts. You can see some smoke coming out the top. Okay, this is an exothermic reaction, meaning it releases heat. And so you can see our magnesium is going to continue to react with our hydrochloric acid until either all of our magnesium has been used up or all of our acid has been used up. And again, you can see the smoke. This reaction is producing heat. And if you were here, and if you were able to touch our test tube, um, you would feel um, that our test tube is now hot. There's heat being released by this reaction. So now the magnesium we started with is almost gone. It's almost been used up completely by our hydrochloric acid. And so since magnesium is being used up first, in chemistry we would call this our limiting reagent. Our limiting reagent is the reactant that we use up first.